Hey, Donnie Walker. Check it out. There's my new little dog. Uh, I'm trying to name him Fozzie Bear. Uh, he's quite rambunctious. He's a cute little dog. And what kind of breed is he again? Cockapoo. He's a cockapoo. Shelly says he's a cockapoo, so he's not, not an allergenic. I pull so call it? I pull it. I pull no. Come on back in. Poodle. So, pretty cool. We went to the mainland this weekend, t today, or yesterday, and then spent the night at a B&B and picked him up about two o'clock we thought he was a lot smaller than he is but he's around 20 pounds i think so all the leashes and the collars we bought from were wrong but we'll get the right ones uh tomorrow and get him going he's a cute little guy man he hasn't made a noise yet not a bark or a squeal or a a whine or a peep or nothing come on bud come on Foz. Hey, there you are he's the Foz man Okay, hey, what do you guys think of that name? Fuzzy Bear. Yeah, cute. Or Benji. Benji? No, I don't Put know about Benji. Boat. I like Benji. So, yeah, it was quite quite an ordeal. We went to the big city. Um, I haven't been over that way for about five, six years. And no. driving on four-lane highways and whatnot in the rain and people, like, driving crazy. Oh, my God. I... That's why I live on this quiet little island. There he is again. Hey, buddy. How's it going? So, anyways, it was okay, though. It went quite well. Uh, uh, Google Map helped us out. No problem. I kind of knew where I was going. I'm pretty good with directions normally. You mean Shelly? And Shelly is, is as well because she's lived over there a few times. I used to go over there and race at Trade X Center, go-kart racing. And, and I used to race at a place called Westwood uh, Raceway. Western Plateau, they call it now. It's a golf course and stuff. But I don't know if any of you guys ever remember Westwood Raceway in Vancouver, BC, Canada. was a wicked road race course. They had a what they called the Deer's Leap there. And they had a go-kart track there that we raced at. And we used to call it Wetwood because it was always wet. Hey, little buddy. Fuzz. Hey, Fuzz. Look at everyone. Fuzzy Bear. I think that's the name, man. He's kind of responding to it now, and in 0600 this, tomorrow morning, we're getting up, we're having breakfast, and we're going for a little walk, and he's going to get me fit, and I'm going to get keep him fit. He's my uh, regiment guy now, I guess. But we'll see how that goes, eh? Big talk. No. <laughs> Got to do the walk with the talk, right? Yeah, I need the walk. yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's kind of a nice little addition to the family. Oh, he just came right scooting behind me or landing on the couch. That's funny. Following me around. Hey, buddy. That's awesome. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a video of a, um, a 455 Rancher saw that a friend of mine bought off me. Um, geez, must have been 10 years ago. And it's worked great since then. He's worked it uh, fairly hard, but just normal, just light firewood. But all of a sudden, it just one day, I just said had no power. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a video of that saw. I'm going to go right from the beginning and diagnose it. And we're going to figure out what's wrong with it. I haven't done that before on a video. And some people have been asking me about that. That I never do, like, mechanical videos. Like, showing people, like, diagnose one or fix it. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, we'll see how that goes tomorrow morning. Monday morning, it'll it's going to be April 4th, tomorrow, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My daughter's birthday on the 2nd here on Saturday, so yes, mm -hmm. it'll be the 4th. So, hey, thanks for watching the last couple of videos. Uh, you said, my, checked out my new dog now. That's cool. It's giving me some insp inspiration to go out and do a little more walking <laughs> and hang out, hang out with the dog. Nothing like having a best friend, eh? I told you guys before, I used to have that 180-pound husky uh, wolf cross, eh? And he was my guy for years. His name was Timber. I think I've shown you a picture of him before. But, yeah. This one's going to be about 25 to 30 pounds, but whatever. Everyone has little dogs these days. It takes a big man to walk a small dog, they say. This isn't a small dog. So there you go. To me, it's a small dog. She's not agreeing with me, but to me, it's a small dog. 
I'm used to big dogs with all my friends that, that have all big dogs too. So anyways, keep a saw in the wood, stick in the ice, rub on the road, check out the walkersawshop.com online store and have a great rest of your Sunday weekend. And we'll get back at her tomorrow. Bye now.